Hello guys, thought I'd make a quick video here just when I think of things, you know, I just want to speak them. And, uh, you know, sometimes the video will be real long, sometimes it'll be short. But I just want to get out when I'm thinking of something, you know. Um, <clears throat> people have asked me a lot, uh, some online, but mainly just in my life, why I'm so open about things and, you know, I kind of speak my mind whether I'm right or not you know I speak my mind I say what I think about things and what I believe I don't try to hurt people's feelings but you know I guess sometimes you're just going to do that when you speak the truth and uh, people have asked me why I do that and I guess it all goes back to when I was young you know when I was young I definitely was a people pleaser uh, I, I wanted people to like me you know, like anybody, uh, now that I know. Um, I wanted people to like me just like anybody else. I wanted people to be my friend. Um, I was a loner being autistic, you know, but I mean, I was always nice to people. And it, it was funny that, you know, I was kind of a loner, but I would want people to like me, yet they never acted like they liked me. You know, never, nobody ever really wanted to be my friend. I can't say everybody. You know, I can't go that far. But most people in my life, yeah, I was always rejected by most people. Uh, when I was a kid, I was rejected by the, uh, as you would say, the cool kids. Uh, definitely was rejected by them. Uh, I was rejected by the smart kids because I don't think I was very intelligent. Still don't. I uh, wish I was. That's the one thing I wish I truly was. Um but I was rejected by the cool kids, the smart kids, and I was kind of rejected by the jocks. You know, I wasn't, I loved sports, but I couldn't play them real well. And I, of course, I was extremely small, and I was rejected by them. Um, I can remember being in school, never getting a Valentine on Valentine's Day. The only time I got a Valentine, Mom would send me one at school. You know, I remember that, and... uh I was, or if the teacher purposefully gave everybody, you know, a Valentine. That was the only two times I ever got one. Nobody ever sent me one. Um, you know, I mean, this is going back to when I was real young, but, you know, still it affected me. Um, uh, kids were better to me up in high school, but still I had very few friends, if anything. Uh, I couldn't drive. So I lied about things. Oh, I just I can't do this tonight. I gotta I gotta do something. something. you know, I had to make things up because didn't have a car. You know, didn't have a license. Uh, of course, it was always if I ever wanted to do this or that. If I ever talked to a girl, you know, it was oh, well, come pick us up. Of course, I couldn't do that. And uh, so I was basically shunned by society. I very much was an outcast. You know, and I just started not caring what people thought. You know, it was like, well, you know, I tried to be your friend, but you never even, you never, you know, did anything with me. You never really met me halfway. You never did anything. So the heck with you. You know, I don't really care what you think. I don't really care what you believe. I don't really, you know, care um, what you were like. You know, I, I just I don't care, you know. So if I don't like something, I'll just do it. And I remember when I became a Christian as a teenager... And some of it was anger. You know, I would go after people trying to convert them. Now, I truly believed, and I still do, you know, what the Scripture says, what the Bible says. Uh, I truly did, and I was sincere with it. Sometimes I could be a little harsh, I guess, because I was young. I was inexperienced. I was less image, you know, less mature back then than I am now. But I was convicted. I truly believed what I said, you know. And I'm not ashamed of what I said. I mean, you know, they would mock me, and, and that just made it stronger in me, you know. And um, so I always would just say what I thought. And then as the years went by and as I studied and I learned the truth, you know, me being a Christian, I always prayed to God. It's the one thing I can say that God has truly given me. I said, God, help me to know the truth of things, and I'll accept them. Doesn't mean I like them. It doesn't mean that I like this or that truth, uh, but help me to accept it. You know, help me to accept it. I'll do it, and I'll say it. You know, if uh, 
brown haired people are stupid. <laughs> you know, biologically stupid. I was brown haired. Uh, if brown haired people were stupid, then I'll say it. You know, something like that. You know, I'll admit the truth even if it makes me uncomfortable. Because that's what you should do. And that was why I grew in my faith through the years in Christianity. My faith actually grew. You know, I hear a lot of people, boy, my faith really declined when I say mine grew even more. That I'm convinced that Christianity is the truth. Uh, the red pill and the black pill, learning those things, which I'd say second to Christianity was the most important thing in my life I ever learned. Um, I just wish I'd known it when I was younger. I wouldn't have made mistakes that I made because, you know, the information wasn't available. Um, you know, accepting those things was not easy. I went through severe depression because of it. Um, suicidal tendencies, you know. But I dealt with it. I got through it. Um, because I accepted it. I knew it was the truth. Or at least, you know, obviously not in every single case. But yes, most of the time, these things are the truth. Uh, learning history, learning biology, you know, learning the things that I study, history, um, uh, studying human nature, you know, all kinds of things. Truth is the truth, and I just accepted it, and I just said it. Because I, I started to mature as I got older. It wasn't just that I'm, I'm just going to disagree with everything y'all believe because you don't like me anyway. And then it became, I need to accept the truth. You know, as a Christian, you must accept the truth and teach the truth, no matter what it is. And I did that. But I guess that's, that's, that's the origin of how I became so independent thinking. You know, it didn't bother me that people didn't agree with me or didn't like me. Uh, back then, I was a little more forceful, a little more angry than I am now. But, um, you know, and nowadays, I mean, it's not like I'm trying now to offend people. I certainly don't do that now. But I am going to be truthful, and I'm going to say what I believe. <laughs> That's just what I do, you know. And uh, if I don't like something, I'm going to say it. If I think something's dumb, I'm going to say it. If I think something's brilliant, I'm going to say it. That's just who I am. So that's kind of my story of why I am kind of like what I am. I don't know if anybody else has had that experience, but that's what made me kind of what I am today. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Thanks.